When you get an amazing match with Pinot and food, the wine will enhance the food and then the food enhances the wine and it's a fantastic experience. And that's what we're chasing a lot of the time, so. The whole Pinot package? The whole Pinot package. Can I try some now? <laughs> if you're ready. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> oh, it's all right, eh? Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad you think so. What makes Victoria's Pinot Coast the coast fit the most? No less than 750 kilometres of rugged coastline, stretching from the Bellarine and Mornington peninsulas to South Gippsland. The region's wineries have built a global reputation for producing world-class Pinot Noir. Sophia, how are you? Hi, how are you? Yeah, great, I'm Mike. Welcome to Ocean 8. Thanks, Mike. So nice to meet you. Yeah, great. You'd never guess we're so close to the beach here. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Tucked away, nice and private. Let's go for a walk up on the vineyard. I'll show you through. Let's do it. Mike, the Mornington Peninsula is part of the Pinot Coast, but what is it that makes the Pinot so special here? So if you imagine the region surrounded by water, mm -hmm. that water is nice and cool, so we're talking uh, 10 to 12 degrees, and the winds are coming off that water and acting like an air conditioner for the region, so it's bringing the, the temperature of the region right down. So that's how we can classify Mornington as a cool climate wine region, but it's a very unique character to have that and that does come through in the wines as well. It's so beautiful here, Mike. Everything's just so verdant and lush. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? The vines look so healthy, so that's a result of the soil. The Mornington Peninsula, 40,000 years ago, was an active volcano. It makes the soils very fertile here, so it's great for growing produce. We do um, great avocados, strawberries, cherries, all sorts of things, and then, of course, uh, very suitable for high-quality Pinot Noir. We should go try some. Love to. So we're going to try some Pinot direct from barrel, which is current harvest. So this came, this fruit came in about six months ago. And does that smell that fresh because it's come straight from the barrel? Uh, that's really smelling fresh because that's the regional character coming through. So um, that cool maritime influence is making this a very delicate, pretty wine. The perfume is what the region does really well, and I think that's showing that beautifully. What's the best way to eat and drink on the Mornington Peninsula? Uh, Mornington's got some amazing restaurants, so it's a foodie's dream really down here and... Any recommendations? I've actually got a really good mate around the corner at Many Little who's got an, a ripping dish with Pinot Noir, so we should go check that out. We've come here to one of my favourite little places on the peninsula. We're five minutes from the winery, but um, a good mate, Sam. You guys want to stick around for some lunch and I might open a few of our wines as well. Yeah. Definitely. Be. Great. Garçon! <laughs> So he owns Many Little, which is a beautiful little wine bar that supports a lot of the local growers. Uh, and Sam's a great winemaker as well. Where's your winery? It's just about um, two k's down the road, called Polpero. You guys must be thirsty. Ready to go, mate. Always. Yeah, absolutely. Sam, tell me a bit more about the food here. It's really about freshness, easy going, wholesome. But above all, it's really built around um, celebrating the local wines from this area, particularly the Pinot Noirs. And what is it about the Pinot Noirs that go well with your food? It's the, the perfume and the spice and the freshness that this beautiful maritime climate has placed us with. We've got a little beetroot tartare, which is from our Polpero farm, and we've got a little duck curry. It's the perfume and the fragrance of this dish that um, works so well with our Mornington Pinot Noirs. What's so special about the Mornington Peninsula is that you can leave one area, a five minute drive, and you've got a completely different experience. About 30 kilometres of coastline to choose from, it's absolutely stunning. I can't believe we're this close to Melbourne. What other regions in the world, um, wine regions, can you literally finish work and get to the beach? Um, be out in the But also there's very, very few places in the world where you can grow Pinot, so to have that whole coastline with different sub-regions within it is incredible as well. Thanks, Mike, for coming along. <laughs> <laughs>